guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i'm doing a get ready with me for the first day back at sick form so it's the first day back after half term and i'm basically going to be doing a get ready with me um because i feel like my makeup routine for school has changed a lot so yeah i thought i'd do a little get ready with me and a little catch up so if you guys do enjoy today's video please give it a big thumbs up make sure you smash the subscribe button down below and let's get right into today's video let's go so basically i did my skincare routine last night and i did actually film that so that'll be going up after this video so make sure you are subscribed so that um so you see that video um i've got my outfit on i've literally just got this roll neck bodysuit and so a little skirt on um and yeah i'm basically going to be doing a little get ready with me so i always always start with my skin and makeup and then I always do my hair afterwards. First thing I'm going to be using is Vaseline because I can't deal with my crusty lips in the morning. Um, I also think I'm going to film a after school routine because I feel like that's quite fun and different to film. I also just pop them on my eyelashes. I'm going to get so much hate for doing this. <laughs> no, but I do find it does help give it a nice little base. Um, and also I have literally stopped using mascara now because it was just like damaging my eyelashes and it just wasn't a good look. So next I'm taking this simple brightening eye gel. This is good for when I wake up to reduce under eye bags and it just helps me feel a little bit more awake as well. So yeah, I literally just blend this out. It's like a little gel um and yeah i love it i think it's not that expensive and it really has helped with my under eye bags so i just pop that on there it's a really nice glow in your eyes to like brighten them up a little bit um next i take my moisturizer so i take the nivea it's just the day cream but it's got a little bit of spf in it which is why i bought it because i need spf in my moisturizer I, to be honest i need a stronger one but they're like so expensive um next what i do just give me a little bit of color and coverage i just mix these two together i literally use the tiniest bit of this tinted one it's literally the same just tinted version and i literally just have the tiniest bit because it is quite it's quite strong um so yeah i literally just blend this out oh my gosh i forgot to put oil on wait before i do that i'm gonna pop some oil on because otherwise it's not going to blend out very well because i have very dry skin so i always need to pop a little bit of oil on before i put my moisturizer on just blend that in just because my skin is actually so dry so just like that it gives a really really nice subtle glow which i love and then yeah i literally pop the tiniest bit of this tinted one just to give it a little bit of colour. I really don't like foundation on my skin. I just think it doesn't really look good. So I always just use tinted moisturiser as well. Look, it literally blends into the colour so well. You can literally barely see it. It's literally like a perfect like shades. So yeah, I literally blend this in. And then I'm also going to put some on my neck as well. Because it's so important to moisturise your neck. And also because obviously it's tinted I like this because I just think it gives that subtle like tanning, subtle coverage. Um, because yeah, as I say, like foundation and stuff like that just really doesn't suit me. So I just use this. And once I've done that, it's basically like my skincare done. Um so then I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and eyelashes. So I use for my eyebrows. Also, sorry if you can see my makeup bag there. I literally like can't get it out of the view. I use this W7 pencil. This is literally like two pound, but I live by this. Like it's so good. I got through my last one, so I've just bought a new one. Um, literally matched my eyebrows perfectly, and it does the job, and it doesn't look like fake. And basically, I literally just like gently, like really lightly fill in my eyebrows just to give them a little bit of definition, just like that. Um, and yeah, I literally live by this. It's so 
like good and affordable. So I just popped that there. Just like that. And then I use the other side, the brush, just to blend it out a little bit. And to fluff my eyebrows up. But yeah, I really don't like school, so I'm not looking forward to today. I I really just don't like school, especially doing sick form. Like, it's just so much work, considering it's less lessons. Um, Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. lash and brow gel. Um, I've run out of the brow side, so now using the lash side on my eyebrows. Again, I get, this through, get through this so quickly. Um, pop that there. But yeah, like sick form, so much harder than I anticipated. Um, and I've really enjoyed this half term because I've just been so productive. If you want to see some of the stuff I did, then definitely check out my Instagram. Um, I'll leave the at in the description or on screen. Next, I, as I was saying earlier, I don't use mascara anymore, simply for the fact, like, it was just damaging my eyelashes, there was no growth, like, they were just getting really dry and crusty, so now I'm just using the Chanel Eyelash Curler, and I literally use this on its own, I really love this eyelash curler, obviously it is quite pricey, but I feel like it's a nice little gift and it's a really nice little lash lift so this is what they look like cute i think we are actually like allowed makeup in zip form i just can't really be asked for it though like all i'm doing is just sitting there doing work like i don't really need to do full-on makeup so then the next thing i do my brush is actually broken but i use my hula bronzer Oh, and just literally pop it on i sort of use it as more of like a contour than a bronzer so i just pop it on like that this brush is literally broken um and then yeah just along my jawline oh. i need to glue this brush back together pop it up in sort of like a three shade I always try and do a bit of a higher contour just to lift the face a little bit and then I use a little bit and then just do my nose just the tiniest bit I've been loving doing nose contour recently I think it just looks nicer and also where I have it on the side of my face my nose just look like really pale and then I just pop it in the corners of my head like that I know I know it looks really silly but I'm going to Blend it out with a different brush. I'm going to use this one. So that's what it looks like. It just gives me like a nice bit of colour. And then I'm going to do a little bit of blush today. And then today I'm going to use the number 7 one if I can find it. Number 7 lip and cheek tint. Um, I've never actually used it as a lip tint. I only ever use it as cheek. And it's a really, really nice shade. It's like a... It's like, I don't even know. It's just a really nice, like, deep pink. Um, but it comes out, like, a little bit brighter. And, yeah, it really goes with my skin tone when I blend it in. Which I really like. Because I, I do have another liquid blush. But it's just doesn't really match me very well and then yeah I use this brush just to blend it upwards just to give that little bit of like rosiness in my face like that all done the thing I do is just to pop, pop on some elf lip gloss this is like one of my favorite things it's so nice and it lasts a long time which is quite uncommon nowadays for lip glosses so then the next thing i'm going to do is my hair now because it is meant to rain today 
I didn't put it in rollers last night. Usually I'd put it in rollers, but because like the weather's awful, it's just gonna fall out anyway. So I'm literally just gonna probably straighten it today because I think it just needs that like, little bit of straightening to it. Yeah, I'm gonna be using the Babyless, Babyless, however you wanna say it, straightener, which I've literally been using for years. And I'm just gonna get my heat protectant um, which I just pop on my ends to make sure it doesn't damage them and just put them in, in with my fingers. Now when I'm straightening, I used to just literally like straighten it with my hand, like using my hand and then straighten it. But now I use a brush and the results are so much better. So I'd honestly recommend just using a standard brush. It just helps smooth it out more. So I just get it in segments. I don't really need to separate it using clips today, just because like it doesn't really need that much straightening. But just go like this and then brush it down. Just like that. This side is done. I'm just gonna move on to the next side and literally just do the exact same thing. So now this side's done, I literally just grab the front pieces and literally grab them in. This looks really stupid. Then I grab it, I put it straight in there and I do it backwards like this. And it just gives it like nice volume at the front, which I love. So, like that, yeah, perfect. Even though I'm gonna tuck it by my ears anyway. Um, I'm gonna turn them off now. But that is basically it. So I'm just gonna go have breakfast, brush my teeth, and I'm basically ready to go. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment any videos you want to see me do. Um, and yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.